Gareth Phelan, obviously a disappointing day. What's your thoughts? A disappointing day. Any day that you get beaten in a championship match is a disappointing day. What's our thoughts? Um, thoughts is we didn't give, you know, we, we, the di most disappointing part is we, we didn't probably play to our potential. That's, that's the most disappointing of all. You know, I think there's a lot more in us than that. But we didn't, uh, for whatever reason, we can dissect it up, down, sideways and backwards, but we didn't, uh, we didn't give all of ourselves, and that's the most disappointing part. Well, they scored two goals at crucial periods in the first half, and it's always hard to come back when you can see the goal in the first minute or two, but especially as a goalkeeper, what's going through your mind when that happens? You've been in that situation, not necessarily conceding goals, but those kind of setbacks early in games. You've, you've played enough ex different scenarios over the years. Uh, conceding a goal at, in the, so early in the game, it's not really much of a setback. Like you, Sure, look, at you're down three points and that's the main thing, but you, you know, it, it shouldn't determine the, 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 the game either. You know, there's a huge amount of football still to play, so I don't think that phased us too badly. You know, sure, we got back into the match and um, in fact, didn't we go a point ahead, I think, in the, in the first half there. So, you know, we kept calm heads and we, did, we conceded that goal. Um, I was disappointed about how we conceded the second goal because we, we switched off after we give the free and we left two men inside our cover. Uh, and that's that's just uh, that's just a criminal offence, really. Like you know, and, and we paid hard for that. And you know, instead of going in at half time, a draw or maybe even a point up, which we could have, uh, we would in four down. You know, so that that was uh, a bit of a turning point, I thought, in the game. You know, we, and that was our own. You know, we were in charge of that ourselves. We we were in control of that, and we we let that one slip. In terms of your own role in the team now, obviously you're playing in goals. You've been there for the best part of, I suppose, two decades at this stage, if not even a little bit longer. But how much of your role now on a match day is, is playing and how much is kind of guiding those around you? Yeah, I look at, um, I've been playing for three decades, for God's sake. <laughs> what are you talking about two decades? <laughs> it's only Cubs that play for two decades. Uh, the, the, the role is, obviously, the main role is, is, is minding the nets, but, but the secondary role is trying to marshal the defence. It's a very young defence. You know, take Fabian McMorrow out of it now, uh, and it's it's a young defence. Look, a lot of those, but there's three or four of those guys that are only 18, 19 years old there. You know, so they need a little bit of a heads up to get them up to the pace of the championship football, and that's uh, that's one of the main roles as a keeper as well to try try my best to give them the heads up as quickly as possible, do a wee bit of marshalling. You know, uh, other than that, just try and keep my own body half right to. Play the match. <laughs> That's it. Well, listen, hard luck today and uh, best luck. If we see you back in a jersey next year, is that a likely scenario? No, it's not likely. No, this is it. This is it. I can, I can tell you with full certainty that this is it. We had uh, Martin McHugh uh, after yesterday's game. He's 50. Um, his so fifth different Some men decade. don't know when they should retire. At least I know when I should retire. <laughs> <laughs> McHugh wouldn't even know when to retire. <laughs>